Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be another book tag and I'm going to do the How I Read tag. And this tag was created by Enya and I will leave her channel down below. So let's get straight on with the questions. Question number one is how do you find out about new books to read? I find out about them in a variety of ways, mainly through Instagram or Booktube. Um, but I have started physical book shopping again, replenishing my bookshelves with actual paper and ink copies as well as on my Kindle. But when I was um, reading a lot on my Kindle, I would um, get the recommendations. If you like this book, then try this at the end. They don't do that anymore, um, but I used to get those. Um, so that's pretty much how I find out about new books. Question number two is how did you get into reading? My mum read to me when I was very small. She read to me from the time I was a baby um, and I was reading before I could pretty much do anything else. I don't remember ever not reading. Question number three is how have your tastes changed as you've got older? Um, I tend to cycle through genres, I found. Um, so in so the age of eight, nine, ten, I liked adventure stories, kids adventure stories. Um, from there, I started to branch out into fantasy, but then in my early teens, I started reading a lot of Stephen King and Dean Koontz. Um, and then and a little bit of James Herbert. And then my late teens and early 20s, I then cycled and read very heavily from the, from the fantasy genre. And then as I approached my 30s, um, I hit romance and pretty much the majority of my 30s, I read romance. Now that I'm in my 40s, I'm finding that I'm reading a bit of a mixture. So I'm reading some of those kids' adventure stories, I'm reading some fantasy, I'm reading some romance, and I just found that as I've grown and found my tastes, um, the, the way I read has changed to go with that. Question number four is, how often do you buy books? And I have to say, as often as I want. Um, I'm currently living with my mum, um, so pretty much, I, I mean, I do pay rent and I do contribute to the bills, um, but my money is my own. Um, I don't, after I've paid all my commitments, financial commitments, my money is my own. I don't have to think about anybody else's wants or needs. So if I want a book, then I'll buy it. It is going to be more restricted um, as I am currently buying a property. Uh, so that is going to be more restricted um, as time goes on. Um, but yes, if I want a book and I have the money, then I will buy it. Question number five is, how did you get into booktubing? Um, I started watching booktube about seven years ago, I think. And at the time that I started watching, my favourite booktuber, booktubers were Reagan over at Peru's Project, who I still watch and Louise at The Big Head Bookworm. It inspired me to start talking because although they were talking about books that I liked, um, there were a lot of books I was reading that I didn't see represented because I was still reading heavily from the romance genre at that point. So about four and a half years ago now, I picked up my camera and I filmed my first video and I put it on the channel um, to talk about the books that I wasn't seeing anywhere else and I still don't see there are a lot of romance booktubers out there now um certainly a lot more than I was looking when I was looking um four or five years ago um but yes I do still read um a lot of romance and I don't see a lot of those romance authors that I read talked about anywhere on social media um so I do I do really like to include those in my wrap-ups as well question number six is how do you react when you don't like the end of a book um, it's usually because it's just ends or because maybe there's questions left. So I'm not one who doesn't get angry. Um, there is one book. I'm going to hold it up here. Um, I don't normally do this in tags. But this book here. Um, no, that's the wrong one. Actually, that one as well made me throw it. Um, but this one here, Driven by Kay Bromberg. I got to the end of this book and I threw my Kindle across the room. It left it on a cliffhanger. Um, I don't like cliffhangers. <laughs> um, 
but yes i it's very rare i have a strong reaction to I, I it just affects um how i feel about the book in general and it will probably affect any star rating i would give it um but other than that i wouldn't have any strong reaction to to um to the ending of a book that i didn't like and the final question question number seven is how often do you sneak a peek at the end of the book before you finished it if i'm reading a paper and ink book i'm always sneaking peeks at the last page um specific i mean most recently um so the series back here the fits and the full series by robin hobb i am um, the whole way through assassin's fate i was uh flicking to the last page to see if i'd get any clues um to help me with the bits of the book that i was in um if i'm reading on my kindle i don't because as soon as you flick to the final page it marks you as having read the book so i don't do that on my kindle um but yeah, I with paper and ink books, I, pretty much every book I read, I do it. So that was the How I Read tag. If um, you are interested, then I tag you as well. I will leave the questions for you in the description box. If you have enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. And I put videos up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye. Bye.